I'm feeling P M A the T. Burning Come along. from a past life full of scars. Ask me where I'm coming from, and I'll share with you my soul. Ask me where I'm going to, I'll have to meet you down the road. It's not time, no. It's not time, no. M-A, the T. Come along. Right on. Amen. <laughs>
Houston have we have literally needed a boat to get into action guys so right now we're not flooding the day so i am in the studio guys shout out to you tuning in on we are a onecom and if you're watching via facebook shout out to you thank you for listening and tuning in today today is at 84 degrees um here in houston texas we're gonna go ahead and get this show rolled right on up guys um today is episode 23 and you're traveling with TVMA The T. So today is a very special show. I am bringing to you the Norwegian cruise, The Joy. And I actually got to participate in the inaugural where we were introduced to the new ship so we can bring you all of the travel tea. So this is my personal experience, my personal blog or vlog aboard the ship. Before we go any further, I can't start a show off without thanking God, my travel suppliers, my family, my um, supporters, and you, you adventurous you. All right, guys. So if you are interested in joining an awesome travel group, go to my blog, tvmathet.wordpress.com so that you can see the groups that are available and get connected and join today. Shouting out to all of my travel suppliers and my sponsors. And if you would like to see your brand on my show, you too can get to the blog and check it out. All right, guys, it's, it's time for some travel tea, honey. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to kick back, kick up your feet, get you some tea, honey, and get the sipping as I deliver to you travel news and some travel deals equals travel tea. Before we begin, I would like to give my condolences to those that were affected by the travel accident aboard the Royal Princess. So my condolences and my hearts go out to those. Those. I would also like to send my heart out to the family of little Malia here in Houston. So our hearts do go out to you, baby girl. Um, I mean, this is a touchy subject, guys. That's for another day. But But our hearts go out to you. All right, guys, I want you to stay tuned for the show. Right now, we're going to roll into a short commercial break, and we'll be right back. Keep it locked. Join today. Get in the action at theRA1.com. You. Thank you all for just inviting me out and giving me the opportunity to speak about TWIST. I really appreciate you and I love that you all are um, doing positive exposure of people in the community um, versus what whatever else you could be doing. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I appreciate you shedding a positive light in the world. Sure. So.
Hey, hey, world, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, guys, so I wanted to uh, talk about this article that I found very juicy, honey. I was reading an article on MSN, if I'm not mistaken, and the article is entitled, Travel at 249 miles per hour, Japan starts testing world's fastest bullet train um, in Japan. So here's my take on that. So this article was written by, by Jordan, and it was actually originally pulled from USA Today. So here's my travel tea about this, guys. So this article is actually, it appears on MSN Travel. You can actually um, go to it and search it up. Again, the title was Travel at 249 miles per hour. Japan starts testing the world's fastest bullet train. My thing about this, guys, and this is just my, this is just my tea about it. Here are some highlights that I want to talk about, about this fastest bullet train. The East Japan Railway Company began testing Friday for what, what's billed as the fastest bullet train in the world. Per the ALFA-X projected to hit speeds up to 249 miles per hour. The ALFA-X is a version of Japan's Shinkansen train, which is debuted for the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, according to Japan Station. A Japanese transportation guide, the Shinkansen is a high-speed bullet train, the fastest of which can reach 199 miles per hour. Stops include Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka, among others. The ALFA X train is simply a prototype for use in test runs for the development of a possible future train. Shin Hiro, a researcher at the railway company, tells USA Today the projected speed should be 249 miles per hour maximum. But again, speed will only be determined during testing. Here is my travel tea, honey. Y'all see this? My travel tea about this is, would you ride this? That's my question first. Would you ride this train? Wait for it. And survey says, most of you probably would. Why? Because most of us fly. And everybody knows that planes go entirely faster than this 249 mile per hour train. So with that being said, guys, I think that it could be something that could definitely be a vibe. I mean, we just have to wait and see. All right, guys, that's my travel tea about the article that um, I wanted to share with you today. Now, guys, Norwegian deals. Guys, we're still rolling $50 deposits and onboard credit. I think it's $100 right now if you're booking for the Norwegian Joy or Encore. So if you are ready to set sail and sell away, honey, aboard Norwegian, you need to get booking with me today. But before you decide, let's take a look at my personal blog experience, my vlog aboard the Norwegian Joy. Stay tuned and keep it locked. Hey guys, you're now traveling with TBMA The T. Welcome aboard the Norwegian Cruise Line ship. This, we're actually on the Norwegian Joy today, but if anyone is selling aboard Norwegian, you will come across their interactive digital screen. And here you're able to set, uh, set up your dining, look for entertainment information, other onboard services, excursions, what's going on on the ship and what attractions are on the ship. I'm gonna give you a little preview. So, once you come to the touch screen, you just follow the instructions. So, essentially, I wanna see what's going on today. Or if you want to go to 
a Broadway show aboard the Norwegian cruise ship. This is exactly where you would do it at. So right now, I'm not going to select anything because it's already done. Like, a lot of this stuff here. But for those of you who are interested in setting up your excursion or your restaurant dining experience, if you have a specialty dining, this is where you do it at. You can also do it in your room. Your TV in your room is digital and interactive according to your cabin. So whatever parts that were set up in your room in your cabin, that's exactly what you will be able to do in your room or you can do it here. So as we continue, I'm going to show you the attractions on this ship. Again, we are selling a worth of the enjoy. This ship takes advantage of the Mexican, Mexican Riviera, the Panama Canal, as well as Alaska. Here are your attractions. You have your team club. John Track, your virtual reality simulator, the casino, Broadway Casino Gambler out there, Galaxy, the Williams and the First Lane Gallery, and of course the Casino. Well, this is exactly what we did yesterday, and it was so awesome. And you just continue. So this is just giving you a little sneak peek of what you can experience for any Norwegian cruise ship. Is your inside cabin. If you have booked an inside cabin, this is what you are in. This is what I am in aboard the inaugural. Hey guys, you're now traveling with PVMA Fitzy. Welcome to the Norwegian Joy Guys, as we are actually walking around trying to find the American Diner. Come on out to the fun deck, guys. This is the Norwegian Joy we will be selling later on today. Going to pass by Ensenada, Mexico. But right now, we're looking for the American Diner, honey, because we are starving. Later today, Cruise Planners is having a special gathering. So any Cruise Planners on board, we will get together and powwow or what have you. And then after that, we are going to ride the race cars on the top deck, honey. So make sure you stay with me and I will be interviewing Norwegian's Cruise Line Business Development Manager, Chris Posado. Guys, you're traveling with TVMA, the T and the hobby. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hey, hey world, you're now traveling with TVMA, the T. Welcome aboard the Norwegian Joy, guys. For those of you who ask, what is the restaurant dining like? Well, guys, this is the buffet part. This comes with your cruise. If you don't choose specialty dining, you have the choice of eating all of these favorites. And I mean, it starts as far as back there, and it goes on and on. You've got your dessert area. You've got your panini area your hot favorites, pizza bar, and so on and so forth. As you can tell, the hustle and the bustle of the ship is in full progress before we prepare to sail away. Guys, it was a rather long flight, so definitely we are trying to get our grub on. Remember, I'm giving you exclusive behind the scenes footage of what you can experience aboard our Norwegian's Cruise Line Cruise. So remember, if you are wondering if you need the specialty dining, remember the specialty dining is for you to be able to eat at the fine dining restaurant. Oh, so many times aboard the ship. But if you don't choose to take that, you will not go hungry, trust me. You wanna see the seafood bar? Here you go. What? I cannot make this up, guys. I'm gonna gain so much weight on this cruise. Guys, you've been traveling with TVMA the T. You know who it is. Guys, I'm gonna take a short commercial break and we'll be right back. Oh, 
Yes. Y'all, this is my favorite place to eat at, guys. I'm not even gonna joke with you aboard Norwegian Cruise Lines. I am so, like, I, I can't even, no, like, I, I don't even know how many tuna sandwich, salad sandwiches I had, guys. I, I lost count. I don't even have room for dessert. Guys, this is by far my favorite place border Norwegian cruise guys and everybody you see on the cruise today are all travel agents guys we're all here with an exclusive invitation to come aboard the debut of the Nor Norwegian joy and we're all just enjoying our hearts out guys I'm gonna tell you like this you don't have to worry about going anywhere else because the buffet dining, honey, that, that right there is where it's at. So guys, if you're wondering what you're going to eat aboard the Norwegian, any Norwegian ship that you decide that you wanna take, make your way to the buffet area. Now I'm not saying don't book your specialty dining, book your specialty dining because guys, this is lunch for us. We're gonna have specialty dining actually tonight. So make sure you book your specialty dining. Hi guys, you're now traveling with TVMA the T. Welcome to the balcony room aboard the Norwegian Joy. As you enter this room, you will see how much space you have from the balcony door. And we're actually going to go out to the balcony to give you a little taste. As soon as I figure out how, I, oh, it's a sliding door. Nice, clean balcony. And we are actually selling, guys. So, hi. So, as you can see, this would be how your view would be selling aboard the Norwegian, any of the Norwegian cruise lines. Guys, you're traveling with CVMA the T. Stay tuned. guys, you're now traveling with TVMA the T. Welcome to the Haven Suite. If this is your cabin, this is how your ensuite will look. And this is how your room will look. Quite spacious. Quite spacious. Just upon entry. As you will see. Another thing that you would notice here is the Haven Suite has an additional pull-down bed for those that's traveling with children or other members traveling and their family. It does have your balcony access and the balcony should be just a tiny bit larger than your regular balcony and it is. Because I'm gonna stand from this corner and you can see how much of the balcony space I have from the Haven. Again, I was down there earlier. Now I'm here, and the views have not changed. They're still quite stupendous. All right, guys, you've been traveling with TVMA the T. Stay tuned. And the front of the sh this is the front, right? The back of the ship, guys. And we're actually looking for the Speedway race deck. So soon as we find it, we'll let you know. Somebody has an appointment to get beat today. Remember, this is a special invite cruise only. Certain travel agents all over the United States were invited out here to bring you guys the travel tea. And that's what I am doing for you. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. Come along. 
Guys, this is you spectacular. Now, give us a moment. We're lost. So we're going to turn around and we've got to get our bearings. So talk to you soon. manager with Norwegian Cruise Line, Chris Posado. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing well, Tony. How about you? I'm doing awesome. Today, we have been invited to an inaugural selling aboard of, of the brand new Norwegian Joy, and we're having such an awesome time. Can you explain to the viewers, first of all, just a little 
little bit about your region and introduce yourself. Well, again, as Tanya pointed out, uh, Chris Posada, I'm a business development manager with the region cruise line. Uh, what that means is, you know, I provide support to Tanya. Uh, so we, you know, any collateral, any information, any trouble, you know, she needs me to get her out of in terms of uh, helping out with, uh, with the client situations, you know, I'm here to help. And then now, now I'm a celebrity, you know, thanks to you. So, uh, you know, I guess I'll, I'll put that feather right in my cap as well. So to answer your question, though, about Norwegian, um, what Norwegian Cruise Line is all about is freestyle cruising. So for those of you that have never sailed with us, maybe not sailed in general, uh, what freestyle cruising means is that we structure your, cru uh, your cruise based around your schedule. So we don't do the set dining times. We don't do formal nights. You know, you're about to go to dinner, you know, in a, in a shirt and jeans. Rocking it out the cruise planner's way, honey. Exactly. And I'm in a suit because I gotta like show off. But otherwise, you know, it's formal nights are, are not something we all or it's not something we do. Granted, if you want to do that, that's completely your call. Uh, much like what I'm doing tonight. But otherwise, um, you know, you structure the vacation on your terms, you know, you set the dining time. So if you guys are hungry at eight o'clock and you want to go grab a steak, you know, you which, can go on your which, terms. But again, we do dinner reservations, so it's no different than at home. You know, if you're going to go at a time that's popular or fits your schedule, you may call ahead with reservations, which is what I did with reservations. We're going to do a Q, our Texas Smokehouse, which, um, you know, crossing my fingers because I know as a Texan, you have a particular taste in terms of your smokehouses. So you're going to be the judge and jury tonight, so uh, uh, be gentle. Uh, but it's actually phenomenal. The brisket actually is excellent, so you guys will enjoy that. I'm so. hold you to that. I'm going to hold you to that, Chris. I mean, you heard it here first, guys. Coming from Chris Posada with Norwegian Cruise Lines. Guys, this is definitely a vibe. This ship is actually a seven-day sail, right? And it hits up Mexican Riviera. It also sells to the Panama Canal as well as Alaska, guys. Can you talk a little bit about the Alaskan itinerary? Absolutely. So um, once we're done with the inaugural here, we'll get back into port tomorrow. The ship will go up to Seattle, and then starting Saturday, May 4th, we'll begin its, uh, its Alaskan itinerary. Uh, as Tanya pointed out, uh, the Alaskan itinerary is seven days round trip from Seattle. Uh, it's going to hit up ports like Ketchikan, Skagway, Juneau, and it will go to Victoria, British Columbia, and Canada. So we will need passports for this itinerary because obviously we will be we'll be going to Canada. So it's a great itinerary for families. Um, you know, it's, Alaska's kind of like the last frontier, you know. Uh, it's majestic. If you've never been to Alaska, uh, you're, doing your, you're doing yourself a disservice, really, to not go. And I, I, know, a, I know a travel agent that can help you out here um, with that. So um, it's a great itinerary for families. Um, you know, it's popular in the summer. Obviously, the weather's warmer during that time. Temperature in Alaska, you know, can, it's in the 60s during the summer. So you don't so, to, like, you know, get them or anything like that. I'm glad you cleared that up because I didn't know what to suggest for my clients, but I'm glad that you're able to tell me that they don't have to go all out. I mean, I have a client that's really wanting to see the whale. Exactly. So you're going to get a lot, a lot of activities, you know, seeing glaciers, um, take helicopter rides up on top of a glacier and do dog sledding. And don't forget about the Northern Lights. And the Northern Lights, Northern Lights uh, are a little bit more prevalent in about August, September, you know, after, uh, um, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how the, 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 the schematics work. So once the season pushing itself out for the summer, that's when the, the lights are more prevalent. Chris, you have literally been there for me. You have actually helped me since I started as a franchising with Cruise Planner. I really appreciate you. You are my go-to. I appreciate you. We, we build a strong, strong team. Guys, you heard it here first, and you already know I've already asked Norwegian about the encore. Chris, 
I've already hit up Andy. You know you. You, I, I did, but you know I'm coming to you next. Can you give me, just give me a little bit of travel tea about the Encore? Well, the Encore is our, our new ship. So as, uh, as Tanya, you know, reached out to Andy today during the presentation to get the tea on that, um, you know, the Encore coming out in November, it's actually the first sailing is Thanksgiving out of uh, Miami, doing the Eastern Caribbean, but then she'll be in New York doing Bermuda. And I know you've got a group doing that itinerary next summer. Oh, yeah, like it's a... Congratulations, and you're doing a great itinerary um, and on a great ship. So, and then after that, the Encore actually leaves uh, after summer, that's 2020. Summer of 2021, the Encore will be doing Alaska, round trip from Seattle. So, to join the Encore, will actually swap places. So, now you're going to get an even newer ship doing Alaska. So, some great activities on board. Speaking of activities, I believe you and Charles are going to uh, hit up the racetrack tonight, aren't you? I'm on my way right now, honey. And then after that, we'll meet you for dinner. I want to know who won. Charles. I, who are you going for? Uh, I got you. Ah! Man here, you know? All right, I'm going to let you. I'm going to let y'all do y'all man thing. I'm going to let y'all do y'all man thing. But guess what, guys? Chris, you are right with me. Guys, you heard it here first. You've been traveling with TBMA the T. I am your cruise planner's land and sea expert. And remember, if you're looking, we're booking. Welcome to the Observation Lounge. Want to meet your family in a quiet space? A nice space with, that has 180 views? Then this is definitely the hangout spot for you. This is the Observation Deck, the Observation Lounge, where it goes down. You're now traveling with CBMA the T. Welcome to the Norwegian Joy during breakfast time. if you decide to come to the buffet area. Just doing a quick workup for you guys this morning on this blessed day aboard the Norwegian Joy as we are making our way back to the LA port. We sail to Ensenada overnight. As you can see, we are still in the middle of the ocean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to record going around just a little bit to give you a snippet of your option choices. So essentially, when you get up, you will have a plethora of dining experiences in the buffet area for your dining pleasure. This is where the hustle and the bustle is this morning and the afternoon and as well for your di uh, dinner needs. For those of you that are not choosing to partake in the specialty dining, you you have wonderful options here okay so if you are a foodie trust me this is a foodies adventure aboard the Norwegian ship 
And today I'm selling aboard the Joy. Morning, Deli. All right, guys. There's my husband, babe. Hi. That's my time, guys. It's time for us to eat breakfast. But, guys, if you're looking for booking, go to travelingmadeaffordable.com. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. Have a blessed day. Just gonna say Chris was right. Until next time, guys, remember if you're looking, we're booking. Go to travelingmadeaffordable.com. Get booking. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks, Norwegian, for the inaugural invite. Stay tuned, guys. You still here? Go on and subscribe. Get in action. Yo, we back at it again, baby. What? Get in action. Say your ex man can't do it better. Three. Get in action. Tell me what is the deal. Tell me what is the deal. So I challenge you today to start strong. Can you feel that? See, I'm calling for you. Can you feel that? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm calling for you. Can you feel that? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm calling for you. So, so, so. We are now traveling with TVMA the T. I'm here hanging out with the soul of Nola, honey, on this bright, brisk day in New Orleans. We are at the Waldenburg Riverfront, right? That's right. The Waldenburg Park Riverfront, out here hanging with Essence and Erica, represent New Orleans Multicultural Tourism Organization. Essence, please introduce yourself for the people. Good morning, this is Essence, Executive Director of the New Orleans Multicultural Tourism Network. And as we say, the soul of New Orleans, we are out here at the 25th anniversary for Zulu Lundy Gras Festival. We are having so much fun on the river. We are representing the rich culture. And you're now traveling New Orleans. with TVMA The T. And I have with me the directors of the Whitney Plantation, a pillar in the Louisiana community. Can you tell us a little bit about the plantation and introduce well, yourself? Well, my name is Joe Banner, and I actually work um, in the River Parishes. I do tours based on movie locations. So the plantations that I work with, one is Whitney Plantation and one is Evergreen Plantation. Okay. Yeah. And how long has this been a pillar in the community? And what's your name? My name is Joy Banner, and I'm the Director of Communications at Whitney Plantation. And Whitney, we opened up um, in 2014 as uh, with our tours, but the location, the plantation has actually been there since 1752. So it's quite a long history, but we're the only plantation museum with an exclusive focus on slavery. That's an awesome, awesome establishment, and I can't wait to visit. So where are you guys located? 
We're located in uh, Wildest, Louisiana, in St. John the Baptist Parish, approximately 45 miles outside New Orleans. Do I need to have advanced reservations when I come through? It's suggested that you book online because tour spots do fill up quickly. So definitely, we will definitely make a stop there and check it out because I'm, I'm a, histor a historian buff, so I love history, and I can't wait to come through. Can you share the name of the website for the viewers to be able to find your establishment? Sure. It's very easy, www.whitneyplantation. You're now traveling with? TV, M.A., the T, baby. This is DJ Jubilee getting it in, baby. Hey, hey, world, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to today's show and the behind-the-scenes footage of the Norwegian Joy inaugural. Shout-out to you, Norwegian. I really appreciate you. Shout-out to you, Chris Posado. I really appreciate you as well. And, guys, I want to give a special shout-out to my, um, my sponsors, Soul of Nola. I really appreciate you. I'll see you in a week as we get prepped up. Guys, stay tuned for... Um, we're going to be announcing the winner who will be able to perform at Essence Festival this year. So I'll be bringing you that travel tea in about two weeks. So shout out again to Soul of Nola. All right, guys, I want to give a special shout out to a couple of adventurers who are actually on the ship right now. They're on their vacation. Um, shout out to the H&R Block crew. They have um, stepped aboard and getting ready to set sail um, as the boss takes her, her employees on their, their incentive trip. So shout out to you and thank you for allowing me to make you guys uh, memories aboard your company vacation. Um, so shout out to H&R Block, the Angela Martin team. Um, shout out to the good times cruise and crew who will be selling away on their cruise. They're going to do Bermuda next week in New York. So shout out to you. Good times cruise and crew guys. That's my time. You've been traveling with TVMA, the T we've had such an awesome time here on the show today. And I took you behind the scenes and gave you my experience of the joy. It was so fun. And y'all saw Chris was right. My husband beat me on the race track but it's okay i think we deserve a do-over so i am requesting a do-over on the encore honey hey you know what that means all right guys thank you for tuning in and make sure you tune in next saturday so you can be traveling with tv m a the t have a wonderful weekend guys Want to save time and money on travel? Book with a Cruise Planners travel agent. Stop wasting time jumping from website to website and avoid all that online research. Lock in the best rate and dodge the hidden fees. See more culture. Get access to unique events. And stay within budget with a complete travel experience. You deserve a better vacation. A stress-free one. Backed by by an American Express travel representative. Now, who's booking your vacation package? Hi, I'm LaTanya, your land and cruise expert. I can plan anything travel for a great price. Ask me about the Caribbean and group trips. Call me to book your next vacation getaway. Remember, if you're looking, we're booking. Cruise planners, your land and cruise experts. Peace, brother Atom Ryan tuned in the action one. I'm feeling human M A the T. Burning Come along from a past life.
full of scars Ask me where I'm coming from And I'll share with you my soul Ask me where I'm going to I'll have to meet you down the road It's not time No It's not time No T. Come along. Right on. Amen. <laughs> 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 